Uh, so, I'm going up to Harford Moor just because I like the view. And I wonder if you understood what I meant by that. <laughs> you know, the good thing about, you know, South Devon, I don't know about any other parts of uh, this beautiful county, but we all seem to be pretty helpful, you know, in terms of warning uh, others of cows and sheep and other people, you know. And I quite like that, you know, it shows that there's a lot of respect in this part of the, the country. And I, well yeah, like I say, I like that, so can't really beat it. It's also uh, quite thin. <laughs> These roads are tiny. Oh, they're tiny. They're tiny lids. Uh, so you've got to be careful about other vehicles. Most of the time though it's pretty quiet to be fair. Uh, don't really get many large objects coming towards you at speed. Uh, I think there was a tractor that came through here which caused a bit of a kerfuffle. Yeah, like I was saying, Half of Moor is, is very personal to me. It's uh, pretty, it's, it's open, it's a public bit of land, you know, it's part of the National uh, Park. National Park? Yes, yeah, Dart, yeah, it's part of Dartmoor anyway, so yeah, it'd be a national park. And, uh, you know, you do get a few people walking their dogs around here. But on the whole, it's you know it's a pretty calm place. Uh, beautiful view uh, across some of the land, and there's a load of shit around here. Yep, my boots are wet, but they're bone dry, so they'll be waterproof. Apparently, they've served me well so far, to be fair. Um, and so are my leathers, and so are my new waterproofs. I was getting away from the point. Half and more is. Uh, yeah, like I say, public, you know, you do get people coming up there for walks and stuff. Um, but it's, it's very peaceful, it's very calm. You know, I, I come up here quite a bit when the world's got me down. Time. Whoa, shit a brick. Thank you, buddy. See what I mean? Tractors. Ooh, that's got the old heartbeat pumps. And there's a gate. Looks like some fuckers burnt it down. Cause, uh, bear with us. Um, yeah, they've now got a bit of flimsy uh, metal pipe and, oh, great one whoever's done this. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a hassle to sort out. There's a new rock there. <laughs> That's about the excitement you can get up here. A new rock. Uh, but yeah, it's... I mean, I'll shut up for a moment. It's just dead quiet, you know. Uh, I came up here uh, this uh, last Christmas. I gave you my heart, but the very next day... Shut up, Jonathan, they don't want to hear that. But yes, they do. They do want to hear you singing. What for? Comedic effect? Oh, yeah, good one, I suppose. Fair play. Um, so yeah, I came up here uh, Christmas time, and it was crazy. Uh, there was a lot of snow, a huge amount of wind. Um, I mean, I put my foot down and there was a good sort of foot and a half. You know, I certainly came up to a fair, fair way out of my leg. Um, but it's, I mean, this is just spectacular. I found this place by mistake, didn't even mean to come up here. You know, I was heading for, <coughs> my voice just sounded really weird then. Uh, I was heading sort of up onto Dartmoor trying to find 
uh, like Princetown and Yelverton and that, and took the wrong road, came up here and uh, found this. So I was like, ideal. I'd love, I'd love to take the bike further on, uh, but there's a sign down there saying you can't do it because it's private land or, s or something like that. I'll read the sign quickly. Oh, it's gone. Oh, must be able to do it then. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was a sign saying that you couldn't <coughs> ride or travel any further. Um, but I reckon it'd be quite cool to go and see what else is around. I'd walk, but I'm a lazy fucker and I'm fit, so yeah, I probably wouldn't in the end. <laughs>